Hello, COM 100 students. Welcome to the week 10 video. I hope you're all doing well. Uh, first, I want to say thank you to everyone who submitted all of their uh, final work for the design assignment. I recognize that I am a little behind on getting to that. Uh, please be rest assured that I am going to get to that as soon as possible. I will most likely be commenting on your weekly posts this week. Uh, and then getting to that because commenting on these, I think, is more urgent considering that we're moving on uh, with the photography assignment. Which leads me to the work for this week. We are going to be getting started uh, this week on your photography assignment. Uh, and that is linked off of the quick links, it is linked off of the projects, and it is linked off of the week 10 uh, video and assignment for the week. Uh, this assignment is going to get you outside it's going to get you up and it's going to get you taking uh, what I like to call more intentional and deliberate uh, photographs using your phone. You are not expected to use a DSLR or a professional camera. Everything that we need to know for this, excuse me, everything that we need for this project is going to be using your phone. That being said, if you do not have a phone that has a camera on it, please email me immediately and let me know so that we can try to work something out. Uh, you do not need to have the most recent phone to do this. I certainly do not. You can tell because I only have two uh, lenses. <laughs> Some phones now have like five lenses. Uh, you can do all the work just with a single lens and an older phone. It's perfectly fine. Um, so let's get started. So this assignment uh, is essentially going to have two parts. One is going to be about photography techniques, and this technique should not be there. I will be deleting that. And one is going to be about creating what Duchemin describes as soulful photographs. And in this assignment, I have linked to a variety of my photos. I think it's only fair that since you are going to be showing me your photographs, that I show you some of my own. So I have linked to various um, photos that I think represent either the Duchemme techniques or the photography composition techniques that we read for this week. Um, and I have linked to some of those down below. And essentially in this project, you are going to be submitting and reflecting on five full color technical photographs, that is photographs that are purely representing the various composition techniques that we're learning about five of those techniques, and then a photo series of five black and white soulful photographs that are inspired by a particular passage from Duchemme. That passage can be the same as the one that you wrote about for this week, or you can choose another one, but you're going to be choosing a single passage. This week we are going to get out and start practicing the technical composition pro, uh, technical <laughs> excuse me <clears throat> the technical composition techniques boy that's a terrible phrase uh, but you're <laughs> going to get out and practice those as well as starting to think about taking some soulful photographs as well next week the week 11, we are going to have individual conferences where you're going to bring, you're going to have uploaded 25 photographs that we will very nicely, somewhat quickly talk about, think about your techniques, think about what's working, what's not working, and talk about your approach. Okay, so we're going to be doing that. Uh, this week, um, <clears throat> so there are going to be five uh, technical images that will be full color and there will be five black and white images that are soulful that you feel illuminate represent or otherwise embody the ideas of the Duchemme passage that you choose 
the work for this week specifically, uh, there is one video to watch. This is about aperture and depth of field. Uh, we need to learn that so that we can begin to think about depth of field and uh, how you're composing your work. So I'd like you to watch that video. And then I have created for you a PDF version of this Word document uh, that is going to get you up and out and taking some photographs. I'd like you to take multiple versions of each of these techniques that was in the composition reading uh, that we read for this particular week. And I put a link to that in here as well. Uh, and then I'd also like you to start taking some soulful images. Try to get at least 10. Uh, now, when you're taking those soulful ones, your camera obviously takes photos in color. I'd like you to envision what they would look like in black and white. Try to do that. And then in your phone, before you export, turn them black and white. Do the little edit feature. Export them as black and white. And then we'll be able to take a look at them uh, on your during your conference. Okay. There are some instructions, so if you want to get the rule of thirds grid to appear on your screen, there's some iPhone and Android if your phone have those requirements. And also, uh, you're going to need to have to learn to adjust the f-stop or aperture on your camera to adjust the depth of field, which I'd like you to use for all of your pictures to, to work on that. And here are some instructions on how to do that. If you have any questions about that, please let, let me know. And then for the to submit the work, you're going to be uploading to Google Drive to a Techniques folder and a Soulful Images folder, the related images that go there. And then during our conference, you will we will be able to take a look at that, uh, look at those images. You're going to share the links to the images uh, in your discussion and design journal. And then in the reflection portion, I'd like you to reflect on your experiences taking the photos and what questions you might have. Uh, in order to give you the most time to complete this, please have it done by Sunday, 11.05 at 11 p.m. Like I said, please do not wait to, to work on this. This weekend is going to be beautiful out. The leaves are beautiful right now. It's perfect timing, absolute perfect timing for this assignment. Uh, it's going to be raining on Monday and Tuesday and maybe Wednesday, then it's going to get cold out. And while you can get nice pictures of frost and stuff like that, that's always cool. Uh, please get out there and this weekend, try if you can, and try to get started on this, on this work. Uh, I'm really excited to see what photos you create and to talk with you about them. If you have any questions about any of this, please let me know and have a wonderful weekend. Have a happy and safe Halloween uh, as well. Take care. Bye-bye.